It is my first time being alone in my apartment and my first opportunity to say hello to you guys. I'm in LA and yeah, the dust has settled slightly. It's Monday, August 17th and the movers left, let's see, the movers left at like 11 last night, Sunday night, and we drove pretty much all day Saturday and almost all night Saturday. So it's been very busy and uh, yeah, my mom said I look like a raccoon because I had such crazy dark circles under my eyes, I still do. And obviously hashtag no makeup, so watch with grace when you see my house. I just got back from Pavilions, which is kind of like the, I think it's owned by Safeway, but it's the, it's like the major grocery store chain here in LA. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit different than a Safeway though. I'd say it's a little more upscale than your basic Safeway, at least the one in West Hollywood is. So I will speak to that one alone. There, it might be exactly the same other places. And yeah, just kind of ran some errands and got some essentials. So I will, I will show you what I got. So went to Creation, which is my favorite juicery here in LA. If you guys have ones you like better, let me know. I think this is better than pressed juice. And I haven't tried Larchmont juicery though, so that's next on my list. This is my favorite juice. This is my all-time favorite from Creation and just in general. It's Margin's favorite, so super delicious. And then I got, let's see, this one's in Layton. So this one's like goji berry, beet, lemon, apple, carrot, and Himalayan salt, and beet is really good for you. It cleans your blood. This is their 50 shades of green, and this I actually usually mix with the margins, and that's what I have for breakfast pretty much most mornings. I usually make my own, but obviously I just moved, so I don't have all the accoutrement in my house or even unpacked. And then I got a Serenity, which is turmeric, lemon, agave, ginger, and cayenne. So this is kind of a spin on the Master Cleanse. This is like the Creation spin on the Master Cleanse. So yeah, I went to Creation, and then after that I went to Pavilion. It is really late right now. It's like almost 11, I think. Last night we ordered Pizza Rustica after the movers left, and... Oh my gosh, it was so busy, but we were starving. We had champagne and pizza, and the champagne glasses are still there, and I haven't washed them. So everything's like everywhere as it is with moving. I'm just kind of trying to like get the basics hammered out. I can show you, I just have like some disposables I packed. This is as far as I've gotten on unpacking my kitchen. I was trying to make myself a little coffee station for the morning, so I'm gonna try and knock that out tonight, but I needed to get some stuff for the morning if you guys have missed my oh this is i got this from my mom's house i was running around my mom lives like two miles up the street so i left sunday with her just because i didn't want to leave her by herself quite yet so yeah this is my favorite sparkling water it's from whole foods this is the blackberry pomegranate one let's see what did i get from pavilions that i drank while i was in route i got this kombucha i haven't tried it it's the chai spice but it sounded really good I got some coffee. I just got whatever was was there. So I got at Pavilions. There's not like a ton at the grocery store. So Starbucks breakfast blend, a basic. I got some Skinny Girl Stevia. This is my favorite way to sweeten my coffee. And this Stevia doesn't have an aftertaste, so it's my favorite. And I got some wine because I'm going to unpack and have a glass of wine and relax. So I got the Chloe, which is really good, which is our red blend. And then I could not forget... <laughs> I could not refuse getting this guy. Couldn't resist getting a California bottle of wine. I'm gonna drink that right now while I unpack my kitchen. And can I just say, it was so awesome to pay, to buy a bottle of wine in the grocery store. Oh my gosh, so convenient. And you can't do that in Denver and most, most states, I think. And then I got a Pete's Columbia Luminosa blend. So this is a new one I wanted to try. So that's what I got from the market which I just ran out really quick and got like literally basics basics things are still really crazy obviously there's like this is a hot mess so yeah watch with grace my kitchen is like totally nothing but boxes Sunday just ate her first meal say hi Sunday bear do you like your new house <laughs> say hello hi friends we made it to LA I was just playing with my toy for the first time there's my favorite toy. It's like a half ripped up Chewbacca, but she loves it. And she just ate my first meal and I just had a snack. I was just hustling my mom for a snack. And yeah, I got my bed set up. So that's exciting. And yeah, like it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. I like, oh my gosh. And I just knocked over a trash, a trash box. 
some things are set up. I like hate to even show it because it's just like such a hot mess, but I got my little entry table set up somewhat. So I have like kind of going to make a little command station there. Um, this lamp I can't get back together. I have a, I have a handyman coming on Thursday. It's like a contractor. He's going to help build the library. Here's what the library looks like right now. So this was like the best laid plan. This was supposed to fit here. Damn it. But it doesn't. So I'm gonna have to go to Ikea tomorrow, which is in Burbank, and get like a, get one of their corner units and kind of wrap it around. But look how close it is. Damn, it would have fit perfectly if not for the crown molding, but such is life. So that's gonna be a little different. This will be where I film from now on. So my couch also is a little bit different. The, uh, I had to take out the centerpiece because it wouldn't fit with my table, which I love. So yeah, I'm planning to mount a TV up here, which is like right above the table. And yeah, I actually have a corner of my couch out on the balcony. My mom put it out there and I was like, mom, that is the Beverly Hillbillies. But she's gonna take it to our storage unit in Napa. So yeah, that is kind of the update. My room is like, literally nothing is unpacked. That's like my suitcase that I brought for the trip. My bed is set up. There's, t I won't go in there because there's actually no lights in my bedroom, but like this is, yeah. This is like the little dressing room or it's going to be when I get done with it. So yeah, and um, there's no lights in either in either the office or my bedroom. Um, I don't know what the deal is, but I need to get lights. And that's why I was trying to set up that lamp because because we need to see in the room, huh? So yeah, um, do do do, I won't go in there. It's the beginning of an office, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I that rug that was it's like a beautiful rug that I love. It was underneath my table, but it just made the room look too boxy. So I'm gonna move it underneath my desk in the office. I'm gonna try and get an end table for here. My mom has one because she's getting new. She has like end tables right now that she's using as nightstands. So this is kind of gonna be a little reading station when I'm done. And yeah, this is the whole library stacked up. This TV is going in my bedroom tomorrow above my dresser because it pretty much looks like a postage stamp on this giant freaking wall. So, and it's kind of far away from the, the couch, which I know you guys can't see, but. That's the, that is the plan. Uh, yeah, that is, that's it. That pillow is out because Sunday slept on it the entire way to, to Denver or excuse me, from Denver. She was really stressed out. She didn't understand what was happening. So I gave her that and it calmed right down and she slept the whole trip. So that was good. Um, do, do, do. yeah, I think, I think that is a wrap for now. I'm going to have a glass of wine and that's that. So I made an open first box, which I highly recommend you do if you ever move. So it has like all of my essentials in it. It had like paper plates and cups and like just some a few snack things. Had Sunday's favorite toy because that's really important to her. And yeah, wine bottle opener, wine stopper. And like I had coffee filters, the coffee maker. Um, yeah, so definitely random moving tip. Always have an open first box. And I'm going to uncork this California bottle of wine and enjoy my first evening in my California, my first California apartment. The, my apartment in Denver was my first one out of college. So my first grown up, no roommates apartment in California. Gonna toast to this evening and talk to you guys tomorrow. So I was gonna show you guys these cupcakes tomorrow in what's sure to be much better lighting since it's almost midnight, but look at these cupcakes my mom made from Cake and Art LA, or she had them make. They went on, they went on Paper and Glam and got some shots and then she sent some of, she sent them some of our personal pictures. These are Daisy and Sunday when they were puppies and that's me from the other day. They snagged that one off Instagram. But this is Sunday Bear when she was a puppy. This is Daisy. This is Sunday's first trip to the vet. This is Daisy. Daisy was my puppy before I moved to Denver, but she got really sick. She actually had bone cancer and she had to have 24 hour care. She's all better now. But at the time I worked in an office and my mom, uh, my mom basically nursed her back to health. So um, yeah, this is Sunday when she was a baby. She got one of my heels out of the closet and she was chewing on it. And so I couldn't help taking a picture. So yeah, I've missed Daisy so much. So my mom got cupcakes made. She got LA cupcakes made. And then some with pictures of the puppies because I'm always asking her to send pictures of Daisy so I can see how she's doing. And yeah, Daisy and Sunday actually look so much alike. That's Daisy as a pup and then that's Sunday as a pup. They both just look like little bears. So yeah, this is my very favorite picture of, of Sunday as a, as a pup. So yeah.
Hopefully the lighting's okay in here, but I couldn't resist showing you. Good morning, Paper and Glam family. It is my third day in LA. It is 10 a.m. I am just pulling into my hair appointment, so maybe I can just take off this hat finally because I have not had a haircut in a year, and last time I was in town, my friend was on tour with one of her clients, so she wasn't here to get me in, and since I was moving in six weeks, I figured we'll just let it go. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. Not that there's been much time for like hair doing and like getting getting ready, getting glammed up anyway. So yeah, that is what is happening on day three in LA. I was driving over here and I heard, I found the new, or I found, I guess it's not a new Christian radio station, I'm assuming, but I'd never heard it before, an LA station, and the new casting crown song was on. It's called Chess Be Held, and it's so good. I'll link it below. You guys should listen to it. Um, I'm not usually a casting crowns fan, but this song is incredible. Oh my gosh. There's a line that says, your world isn't falling apart. It's falling into place and I'm on the throne and I almost lost it driving to my hair appointment. <laughs> so yeah, you should definitely watch it. That definitely hit or listen to it. I guess it's probably going to be a lyric video. I'll have to do a little search in when I get, when I start editing this. But um, yeah, it was like, oh my gosh, everything feels like chaos right now. Just with, oh, I have to go to Maine in a couple weeks for work and then paper and glam and my whole life is in boxes and oh yeah, it's just been, it's been busy. I have pretty much been nonstop. Like I was, as you guys know, I was here for work, finding a place to live, releasing the glam planner, um, pretty much just getting everything ready, doing stickers and glam fall and all that stuff and uh, moving across the country and I literally have not stopped. So <laughs> that line just totally hit home today. And especially if you're going through something, um, trans even if it's a good something, right? Like moving is a great something, but it's still, it's still a transition. So if you are going through something, whether it's a good something or a tough something, I hope that song helps you as much as it helped me. So yeah, I'm going to go into my hair appointment and get my glam, my, my blonde glam game strong. Cause right now I have 99 problems and my hair is one. So yeah, I will see you guys after this. Hello, Paper and Glam family. It is Friday morning. It's my, let's see, it is my sixth day in LA because I got here on Sunday. And I am in the valley at Target because I'm pretty much cleaning out all the Targets in the LA area because I'm trying to get nine of this specific frame. You've seen it before. If you've seen in my bedroom, it's that mirrored frame that I have my prints in that say, they're from the Laura Casey shop and they say, um, I think, let's see, Alleluia. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I think it's actually got that backwards. It's thank you, Lord. Alleluia. Amen. Alleluia. And then the other one says love never fails. And then I have one in my bathroom too. So I am launching a print shop for paper and glam with all the glambition prints and the you better work prints. And so I want to make a gallery wall in my office, but I'm not much of one for the eclectic approach, <laughs> which probably won't surprise you with my hashtag type awesome. So I'm getting all of the frames. So the contractor who's coming tomorrow can um, install them. So I've missed a couple days vlogging. I've been kind of a bad vlogger just because I literally have not been alone since the last time I vlogged. So let's see, my fourth day in LA was Wednesday and Wednesday I woke up because Marissa texted me to see if I wanted to walk down to like our neighborhood coffee shop and get coffee. And I was like, uh, I was, uh, it was so funny because I was on the balcony in my pajamas and she was texting me and then I looked down and she was on the balcony in her pajamas, letting her dogs out, because I was letting Sunday out. And, <clears throat> excuse me, so I was like, why don't you just come up for coffee? And we ended up talking for like, because I had coffee um, in my house, so we ended up talking for like four hours, <laughs> and just about like everything, we totally hit it off. Marissa, you are the most humble, and just hardworking 22 year old I have ever met. Like, homegirl is just pulling it down, and I could not have handled everything she handles at 22. She's just, so mature and it's just so inspiring and just so welcoming and inviting and it's just so cool to have um, a new neighbor and a new friend and you guys know I'm all about living in community I'm all about you know doing life together because if you don't have people that you do life with and that you you know walk through life with that you know there's there's nothing I think it's Ralph Waldo Emerson said you know there is no life but the life lived in community and that's completely true we're meant to live in community so the fact that um you know I've met Marissa and she literally lives next door like it's hilarious um it's just it's just 
awesome. We actually have a lot in common. Uh, so yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> that's what I did Wednesday morning. And then I ran to the Valley. I went to Ikea to get my bookcases because the library bookcases, half of them didn't make it in the move. And then I needed a corner piece, which is really common with Ikea stuff. Uh, those of you who have shopped at Ikea and moved it know it kind of falls apart. You know, obviously it's great. It's great price, but it's not a great quality. So that's fine. So I went and I I replaced it in the contractors and then I had let's see what did I do after that then I went to dinner at my mom's house because it's just kind of a haul to the valley and get back in traffic then I went to my mom's house for dinner and then I went to Home Depot because I had to get like a TV mount and a bunch of stuff for the contractors who were at my house all day Thursday they got there at 9 and they left at 5 and then I was so exhausted I I just completely I went to I had a glass of wine I went to Chipotle for dinner and I went to sleep at like 8 so and then I just got up this morning and um, just kind of took care of some things around the house. I I went through like 5,000 emails literally because I haven't been able to check email since I got here because I had internet installed on Monday, which was the day after I got here, but it wasn't working right and it was the whole thing. So um, yeah, that's what I did. And now I am at Target in the Valley and I have to go back to Ikea because when the contractors put my bookcase together, the old bookcase is a different color paint than the new bookcase, uh, even though it's the exact same bookcase. So I've got to go get, because half of them, broke and then the other half um were fine but now they're a different color and it just doesn't it just doesn't look on point and I want to get my film set up so I can start filming videos for you guys this weekend and yeah that's kind of been what's going on I'm uh, listening to my six minutes uh cliff notes catch up and let's go to Target And I'm feeling fly It's hot with the sunny sky We laugh out like every night We can do what we want to We roll with the windows down Meet up with the boys in town We go out around and round Young and free, no place to be Hey, we go where we want to Hey, it's right when it's our crew Oh my gosh, look how cute these sports bras are And they have a really cute hot pink one down there. So I'm getting this one in a medium. It's very paper and glam. And I live in gym clothes, so that's perfect. I kind of want to get this one too, but I'm just going to get to one because, get one, because, uh, hello, I just moved across the country. Oh my gosh, this teal one is really cute too though. Super cute. I'm just going to get the black and pink one. Okay, so a lot of these are cracked, and that is the problem. I'm wearing like an old school USD shirt. Go Toreros! Okay, that was not a successful frame mission. They had two and they were both broken. So, yeah, and it is hotter than the 4th of July out here. That's one of the reasons they call it the valley, because it's literally like in the valley. And it's surrounded by mountains, and it, like the sun like beats in here, like similar to Palm Springs. Palm Desert, where Coachella is. So yeah, now I'm off to Office Depot to get some ink because I need to print out the stickers. Uh, and then Ikea, and then back to LA. All right, so that's the plan. So this is my target is dangerous because I went in for frames and I came out with a really cute sports bra. So yeah, and then I enabled Marissa to buy one that is matching. <laughs> so yeah, time to get on the road. Mission Glam Print Shop is a wrap. Culver City had two more frames. They actually had four, which was awesome. So I am heading back to my own camp now and hopefully we get there in like 30 minutes because it is, let's see, it's 6 30 so traffic should be dying down and then I can just settle in for a quiet night. It feels like it's been a long day even though I've really just been running errands. I haven't really done too much but I am ready to be home nonetheless so let's get back to base camp. Hi little bear! Are you taking a nap? Look what came friends! Oh let me turn over this because my address on it. Look at this! It is a silhouette! Let me know what videos you want to see on this. Of course I'm going to do one of how to use this with the glam planner stickers and yeah and then my Bible tabs are in there. I'm also going to do a video on that because you guys have been requesting a Bible study video. So yeah, I am so excited. I've been wanting one of these forever, 
but since I was moving, I like literally didn't want to order one more unnecessary thing. So yeah, oh, home sweet home. Things are actually starting to look like, like a home. I went to creation earlier and got nut chips and nacho kale chips. These are like crack. They're so, so good. Not that I know what crack tastes like, but they're delicious. Well, not that you eat crack, but you get what I'm saying. They're so addicting. So those are delicious. Um, yeah, things are coming together. You can see things are taking shape. It doesn't look like I've done a ton and I've literally been working like sun up to sundown. So there's Marilyn, she's in her rightful home. Tomorrow the contractors are coming back and replacing this right cabinet, or excuse me, bookcase, because you can tell if it's like a slightly different color. And then bracketing all of the bookcases to the wall and kind of tightening them up together. Okay, we are on the way to my mom's house. Sunday's Jima. <laughs> you excited to see your Jima, huh? Yeah. It's just up the street. We will be there shortly. So we are sitting in traffic on Melrose. There's the Hollywood sign up there. My mom lives like right under the Hollywood sign. So yeah, we should be there in about a mile. with the sunny sky we laugh out like every night we can do what we want to we roll with the windows down meet up with the boys in town we go out around and round young and free no place to be hey we go where we want to hey it's right when it's our crew hey we play it like our rules it's our life we go My glam girlfriends it is Sunday and I just got out of the shower. I'm finishing some green juice and I am going to head to the container store because everything at the container store is 20% off. So I'm going to get some organization things for my house and I'm going to get my nails did. So that is my plan for Sunday. This morning I edited two videos and one has been uploading and it's only six minutes long. It's been uploading for the past four hours. So I'm really hoping this internet situation improves because that's just not going to work. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to head out. I made my bed for the first time in my new apartment. Some of the pillows are still packed, but things are coming together slightly more. Got my TV. I watched Netflix in bed last night. And that was amazing and I got a great night's sleep and let's see I think that's it that's pretty much the morning I was just editing and took a shower took a shower and got ready in my in my new bathroom for the first time I took a shower before but since my hair was did I didn't need to go through the whole thing of doing my hair which takes a long time because I have a lot of hair so yeah let's go to the container store we are at the container store at the Grove and I'm excited to see what they have to organize my life and then hop over to Cosmos World Market to grab my favorite syrup for coffee. Sunday. Where's Chima? Where's Chima? You see her? You see her? Are you excited for dinner? Ready to go? <laughs> oh my goodness! Do you see her? She's coming. She's coming. Okay, keep watching for her. She's gonna come out right now. She's gonna come out and open the gate for us. She's gonna come open the gate for us. We can go eat dinner. See Gina and Daisy. <laughs> All right. Sunday's excited for dinner, and so am I, because Peach Cobbler is on our life list for this month. Is it not? It is. It is on our life list. So we're going to check that one off tonight. All right, glam friends, the sun is setting over Hollywood behind me, and I have a really delicious watermelon drink, and we are about to have dinner. 
Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a full deck tour because it's it's pretty cool up here. You've got a whole view of all of my Hollywood landmarks from this vantage point.